Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or a message for you. So those of you that are new, what I like to do is to hold each deck up to the camera uh, for you to see if it's resonating starting with deck number one. Could your story or message be here in deck number one? Or could it be deck number two? It's your story or message here in deck number two. Or could it be in deck number three? Is your story or message here in deck number three? Okay. I hope you have made your selection. We'll go ahead and begin with deck number one. We have Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, The Star. Overall energy, we have the Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Tower. All right, so it looks like maybe something happened unexpectedly. Uh, there was some sort of disruption in your life. Um, maybe you were forced out, forced to leave, forced to find a new home, forced to leave your job, or you suddenly maybe you lost your temper, you quit. Maybe there was a sudden breakup. Um, but it seems like maybe something happened and it was very unexpected. Um, and I feel like maybe something caused a little bit of heartache as well. Maybe you didn't, it didn't expect, um, a breakup to feel the way it did, or maybe you found out someone was in a relationship and it hit you. You're like, wow, I didn't think I would care. Um, so it's, it's a sudden rush of feelings and I feel like it kind of, you know, caught, caught you off guard. This also could be a situation going on around you. Somebody around you is going through some, something very sudden and unexpected. Um, there literally could have been some sort of heart issues that, that were discovered. Maybe someone found out they ha had a heart murmur. Um, or maybe a spiritual, maybe someone felt like they had some sort of, of a heart palpitations or a spiritual awakening caused by a broken heart. Um, something could be going on with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, uh, where maybe this person is hurting. Maybe you find out something about them, or maybe they are finding something out about you. But it looks like there's a situation to where whatever happened, I feel like is now putting you on a new path or there is some sort of a breakthrough. Like there had to be something to happen very unexpectedly to get you to go to the next phase in your journey or in life in general. Um, and then it looks like now you can rebuild or now you can have a stronger foundation. Maybe you got forced out of one job and forced into a new job, but this new job pays more um, or values you more. Um, maybe you got forced out of a relationship, but then it forced you, forced you to have to meet someone new uh, eventually. And I feel like Whatever is happening, though, it's like you're having to rebuild. Having to rebuild something that fell apart. Mm, and, it, and it also seems like there is um, some sort of changes in your daily activities or your daily routine. Um, something could have been a last straw. Mm, maybe you like, that's it. Like... That pipe burst, I got to get new pipes. 
Um, that's it. I don't want to pay rent anymore. I got to find my own place. I got to, I got to own, like something's going on where like you're forced to do something. Um, and it changed, whatever this is, it's going to change your daily routine. Or maybe, I don't know if this has happened yet, or if this is something that's going to happen. I want to say that if, if it doesn't make sense yet, then it hasn't happened yet. Now, I also feel that, again, something was a blessing in disguise. Um, I feel that, you know, maybe you're feeling um, like, hey, like, the, had this not happened, you know, the universe wouldn't have been able to provide me with this or that. And I feel like you're going to see the bigger picture. This is also about your prayers um, being answered or getting a clear sign from the universe that you, you your prayers have been heard, that you are being looked after. Mm. Okay, I feel too like even though there's going to be some sort of force of change and habit, like there may be times where you feel like you you don't want you don't want to change. You're like, no, I wanna I don't like these changes. Like, yeah, I get it, I'm changing, but I don't like them. Maybe there's a way I can go back to how things were, or I can do this and do that. And it's like if you might catch yourself trying to go backwards. I feel like that's just gonna make your job harder or it's gonna make your journey harder. It's like just kind of let it go and give in to these changes and then things are gonna open up or things are gonna be easier for you. <clears throat> There's something going on too where you may be um, stepping out on faith and I feel like it's going to be the you're going to enjoy the results of it. You take a leap of faith and then it's just like, oh, I'm so glad I did this. Somebody in a love situation, I feel like somebody is opening up and being vulnerable. Um, maybe someone feels like pouring out their feelings. They're like, you know, I have so much to say. Uh, I had I had to get this off my chest. You broke my heart. I felt this way. Um, so I feel that maybe someone's, um, tough exterior is being shattered. Uh, this could be you. You could be like releasing all the, all the things that hurt you to somebody. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some sort of vulnerability or this is about being vulnerable. Now, also, if someone experiences some sort of heartache or tragedy, uh, or it's heartache, but it, the heartache was so tragic because the spiritual awakening is very tragic um, when it happens. Um, but it looks like that is happening for you to be able to share your story or your experiences with other people. So I feel like you're turning your tragedy into something that can be charitable or hopeful for other people. And by you sharing your story and being open, um, I just feel like this is your also like your way of giving back. No matter what happened, because whatever it is that you're sharing or expressing, I feel like will help other people get through their situations. Mm. I feel too like somebody is being gifted like a home or a place to live. Like had you not ran into this person, you wouldn't have known that they had a, a spare room. Um, or that they were willing to rent out their home. Or maybe they need a house sitter because they're going out of town for a year. And they're like, you know what? You can maybe within a year, you'll be able to get back on your feet. You can, you can stare at our house. You know, so something like that may happen. Something very um, out of the ordinary may happen. 
I also feel that you may be invited to something and I'm getting that someone may be starstruck. Um, you might get to meet someone that you really look up to or you really value and it doesn't necessarily have to be a celebrity. Maybe they're a celebrity in your eyes, but I feel like when you see this person, you're going to feel starstruck and you're like, oh my God, um, this is crazy. <laughs> um, so it might be a good idea to go to any events that you're invited to. Um, There's also the possibility of you doing something sexual with someone for the first time. It could be a first kiss, uh, but definitely it's something new. Like, I feel like you haven't been with this person uh, sexually and it may throw you off guard. I feel like two people are also getting cornered or two people are put into a certain situation where it gets really awkward and it's like you're forced to just like, I don't know, both people just come towards each other in such a way. I don't know what image this is I'm getting, um, but that's it's just a matter of two people getting so close together and it seems awkward at first and then it just leads to something else. You might realize that you have some sort of spiritual connection with someone as well. Mm. I'm getting something about a party or someone making some sort of arrangements. It's some sort of nighttime event or it starts off when the sun is out and goes on to until nighttime. Okay, I also see someone working as like a bartender or a caterer. I don't know if someone works for a catering company or if you have your own catering company or if that's something that you're wanting to do. I feel like you're going to run into the right people that can give you uh, information on starting your business. Even if it's not catering business, but I am saying something about catering. Uh, I'm hearing something about Florence Nightingale and that's an old term where um, a nurse falls for her patient I thought it could be for the if the patient falls for his nurse too, his or her nurse too but Either way, I'm getting something like Florence Nightingale syndrome. Somebody, the caretaker and the patient fall end up falling for each other. Okay, I see some sort of trip. Someone may be moving in or you might be moving in with someone. Or maybe it's just a visit. It could be a temporary stay. But it also looks like maybe someone is offering. They're like, hey, if you need a place to crash for a few days, you can stay here. Um, yeah, I feel like there may be an emergency or something urgent that happens. And somebody is like, who can I call or who can I, I don't want to, this is embarrassing or blah, blah, blah. I feel like someone is having like a lot of pride to talk about something that's going on. But then they end up telling the person what's happening. They're like, no problem. Like, you know, so someone may do something very charitable for you or you may do something very charitable for someone. Um... I also see something happening 
I'm seeing something like a vacation. Something unexpected happens on vacation or you take an unexpected trip. I feel like somebody is trying to um, work out their frustrations. I feel like someone is like trying to keep busy because they're frustrated or dealing with a lot of tension or stress. Something about your your job may be pushing you to your limit or making you do something very uncomfortable. Okay, I also feel like two people are making some sort of uh, negotiations or there's some sort of compromise going on. If you're in a relationship, I feel like things have gotten to a point where you and this person are making some sort of, of negotiations or compromising and trying to work out your differences. I feel like something is also about respecting each other's personal space or respecting each other's, excuse me, separate lives. I feel like, um, I feel like something's been going on between an earth and an air sign where there's been some things, some issues that need to be resolved. Sorry, you guys, my camera has been acting up. I probably need a new one, but I was. I didn't know it had cut off, but I was just about to clarify the, the star here. <sighs> All right. And not only that, but I noticed that my twin called while I was, while the camera went out. So maybe that's a message for somebody. I was talking about awakenings. So it is possible that maybe you're going to hear from your twin um, because I do have energies that indicate like someone you know, having some sort of heartache or um, dealing with some sort of awakening and un unexpected energy. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I feel like with the star, there's a, been a lot, there's been a lot on your back or a lot that you've been carrying around, maybe emotionally, maybe um, just in general, like you've been doing a lot and you've been having to do a lot on your own. And I feel like you also feel a sense of obligation towards your duties because you feel like maybe no one else is going to be able to do something the way you know how to do it. So it's kind of like you're like, well, it's OK, I don't mind doing this. Or I don't want, you're complaining, but at the same time, you feel like you just have to do it. You can't entrust anybody else to do what it is that you have to do. And it looks like you've been trying to figure out or process, you know, is there anything else that can be done um, about your situation? It's been so stressful. And it seems like you also just kind of started maybe developing some sort of anxiety or some sort of fear. Um, and it looks like all all of that buildup, all of that weight that you've been carrying around, it, it looks like not only do you need to release it somehow, take a break. Uh, if you're doing more than one job, let one of them go. Uh, but this is also indicating that help is on the way. Um, 
like I said, the universe does hear you and is answering your prayers. So it is very possible that, you know, you will have whatever, whatever assistance that you need. Um, maybe you feel like you've been single long enough and you're like, I don't know how much I can take it. I feel like the universe is going to do something that eases that that burden. It could be a, a relationship or maybe not. Maybe it's just you put, uh, being put in a different position where you won't be thinking about being single anymore. Um, maybe if it is about you having too many jobs or too much work to do, something's going to happen where it's like you don't have to lose your money, but you are also going to get the help that you need and you, you don't get to have to stress about that so much anymore. So whatever it is, it indicates that you're going to get help. Like the universe is going to send you help. Also, if someone is coming into coming into your life, like I said, it doesn't just have to be romantic, but this person definitely can um, open up a lot of resources for you or avenues. Maybe they have like tons of information that can help you and, or, you know, and, and they're going to be able to help you in some way, shape or form. I also feel like somebody is having a hard time with their finances. Okay, if you're torn between two people, I feel like the universe is going to make it very clear what it is that you need to do. And for those of you that be like, why can't I have both? Oh, maybe, hey, <laughs> maybe the universe is going to make it possible. All right. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to deck number two. We have Page of Swords. We have the Magician. We have Two of Wands. We have Seven of Swords. We have Temperance. We have the High Priestess. Three of Cups and seven of cups all right so in a love situation you know it does seem like maybe someone has options um there has been you know maybe you've been dating a lot being introduced to different people um but i feel like you have options uh, if you feel like you are not meeting anyone, you don't have any options, then you have a secret admirer. Um, I feel like someone secretly does want to be with you. Maybe this person's even already been flirting with you. You don't realize it. Um, but I do feel like you have a secret admirer. Um, it could be a friend. It could be someone who's a friend or maybe it starts off uh, platonic. Um, I feel too like something's going on where you may be indulging in things that are taboo. Um, I don't know, taboo to society, taboo to your friends, taboo to your family. Um, it could be, um, it, it could be the occult. It could be so anything dealing with the occult or esoteric, like tarot, astrology, anything that the church wouldn't like or any structured religion wouldn't like. It could be something sexual in nature. Maybe people don't know that um, you're fluid or bisexual. Um, 
but I, I feel like someone's been dabbling around in something that is considered to be taboo. Now, you are also being asked to trust your intuition um, because it seems like there's a decision that you may be, may be having to make and you might feel in the dark about it. Maybe you're asking for advice or just trying to figure out what you need to do. Um, I feel like you are not going to have like the outcome or it's like you want to see the bigger picture, but you can't see the bigger picture. You just have to make a decision and go with the flow of things after that. Either you're going to make a mistake or you're not. But I, I feel like, you know, this is a situation where you have to kind of find your way out of the dark um, using your own inner guidance. Um, pay attention to your dreams as well, because I feel that messages are coming through to you in your dreams or they will be. You also could be visited by someone in your dreams or maybe someone's trying to, you know, someone's trying to tell you something. Um, so pay attention to those dreams. Make sure you're writing them down. I know it's difficult. Sometimes I I struggle with that. Like I, I don't feel like writing something down or I'll say I'll remember it and then completely forget it. So just make sure that you are able to just like jot those dreams down um, because there must be some sort of important message coming up for you. Um, I also feel like maybe you've been trying to go to readers, trying to get answers about a situation. And I feel like you can only see so much, or only so much is going to be revealed to you. And part of the outcome is going to have, depends on the actions that you take or the actions that you follow up with. Um... I do feel that you also might have some secret enemies or like you feel like somebody is your friend, but they're, I don't know. I feel like someone isn't, either this person isn't really your friend or the friends that you think are your friends aren't really your friends uh, or they are planning something behind your back. Um either for your own good or there's a surprise element to it. So they're they're being secretive, they're deflecting, they're not giving you straight answers. Um, yeah. But again, those dreams, I feel like those dreams are going to reveal to you who your enemies are. You're going to find out um, who they are. Something's going to come to the light. Uh, you might find out that someone's just been using you for something, using you for money, using you for uh, sex, using you for a place to stay, um, you know, you stealing your ideas, matter of fact. Uh, so if you are, if you work in a, any type of industry where you have like these ideas, protect your work because it definitely looks like somebody might be stealing your ideas. Get your things copywritten. Um, somebody might be, uh, what do you call it, plagiarizing. Somebody could be taking your whole, your whole message and just saying, let's say, just for instance, you're a tarot reader, and you happen to watch a video and someone has said every single thing that you just said in a video. And it's like not a coincidence. It's like, no, this like those are my words. Like I made that word up. You know, it's just like something that gives it away completely that someone is in fact stealing your words right out of your mouth, stealing your information. Someone um, might be creating a whole website, stealing your name. Be careful about the emails that you open. Somebody could be, you know, make sure that you're not being um, fished. Um, in a love situation, make sure you're not being catfished. Somebody definitely could be pretending to be somebody and not be really being who they are. Um, <clears throat> okay, now something is, is 
it's funny about this image of this child. Um, okay, so I feel like maybe there is someone who who says things in a way where they could be condescending. Like someone knows how to really hurt you or kill you with their words. Um, definitely could be an air sign. Um, but this person is very good at like, or killing people with kindness. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I don't know if any of you are Lost fans. Um, it's a, it's, I know it's an old series, but me and my son just binged it. Um, <laughs> and it's this lady on there that we call Pleasant Face. You probably, if you are a fan of the show, you should probably already know who we talking about. We, we're like Pleasant Face. That's what we call her, Pleasant Face. And she, it's like, she'll be saying nothing. She just be looking at you with this smirk. And it's like, oh my God, I just want to kill her. But you know that she's she's up to something or that her mind is like it's something going on in her mind where it's it's like calculating and doing some stuff so i don't know i kind of feel like someone has that type of energy or maybe it is you um i also feel like someone has to be a certain type of way or they use things to their advantage um, maybe business wise, uh, someone is very, I don't know, very suggestive and they use the power of suggestion really good. Uh, something about this person may have some sort of hypnotic vibes, um, where all of a sudden you, <laughs> they just say stuff and everybody like nods like, okay. <laughs> So someone may be very hypnotic in the way they speak or suggest things. Um, and I feel that someone is using their power to get a job done. They're like, look, I did what I had to do. This is what I need to do. I had to charm the pants off of those people. So I feel like this is very good for, you know, business related things and definitely manifestation. Uh, I feel like you guys are manifesting. Um, you might be taking some sort of back door to, to get success. Everybody's climbing up the ladder and you're going underneath it or through it. Like something's going on where you are figuring out some sort of loopholes to get yours. You're like, you know what? Everybody doing this, like nobody looking over here. This is what I'm about to do. Um, and so I feel like this is good, clever thinking. Um, and it also makes me think of uh, an astrologer again, um, who said that someone who has like a debilitated Mars, which would be Mars in Cancer, um, it would be very good at uh, doing backhanded stuff um, to to overcome some sort of obstacles or their enemies or you know that just to dominate it's like he said any debilitated planet is good matter of fact because that planet has to find a way to work in that sign even though it hates that sign um, or the sign hates that planet it's like we don't get along but we stuck so how are we going to get around this? And it's just like being forced to work with each other and find ways to find peace or harmony or to reach a goal. Um, <laughs> just like Jupiter being in Capricorn, another debilitated planet, like Jupiter wants to be righteous, but in Capricorn, it's going to make them do crooked stuff. Um, so it might be the pastor who is able to help a lot of people, but what that pastor had to do to, to get to where he's at, you know, maybe something going on, you know, he had to uh, get rid of his morals for something. So, yeah, I kind of feel like this may be speaking to those of you that have 
uh, debilitated planets because it is also about getting the job done by any means necessary. Now, like I said, it looks like there definitely could be someone that is doing some form of manipulation manifestation to create what they want and I feel like whatever if this is you I feel like it is working something something's working you're attracting love or you're attracting a job or getting people to uh, do right by you um I also feel that some of you may be working on something in secret, like you're not telling people and maybe because you know that people will steal your work or your ideas, but it, it looks like you could be working on something in secret, like you might be coming up with uh, some sort of product. I feel like those of you that work with your hands, like this is actually good energy um, for those of you that like um, make candles or you make um soaps or anything where it's like you get to work your magic you're blending things together even for someone who's like a literal baker um or chef even you might be creating some sort of unique recipe or maybe you're building some sort of website and you're giving away secrets secret recipes now in a love situation it does look like someone is cheating or somehow coercing you into a third party situation um the way they do it they're so smooth with it you next thing you know you're like lollygagging with somebody's husband or wife and it's like this person got both of these people in the same room but everything everybody's okay like everybody is getting along knowing the circumstances so i feel like someone did something kind of dirty but at the same time everybody's everybody's on board it works out for everybody in the end now that's not everybody's situation, but I do pick up on somebody who's getting coerced into a third party situation. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you guys also need to keep watch on your, your preteens and up because they definitely could be sneaking out of the house or talking about they're going to spend a night at their friends when they're going off to be with some grown man or something. So uh, be cautious of who your children are hanging around. Um, I would want to say be cautious about the, the babysitter or the daycare provider. Be careful about your drinks because it looks like someone may slip something in your drink. Mm. If you go to a party or celebration, especially don't just accept anything. Like you don't know what it does. You don't know what this person, where this person got it from. You don't know if they laced their product. So just kind of be cautious about that. Now, on a positive note, I see that somebody has some sort of hidden talent or gift that they're starting to learn how to use or utilize. Um, maybe you're learning how to astral travel or astral project. Uh, maybe you are learning how to read cards and you're able to like read information on a lot of people, secret information. Hmm. I just feel like some of you have some sort of hidden talent or gift and you're utilizing it. Also, someone's child is very manipulative because they're so cute 
and it's cute for now, but of course they're probably going to carry that into their adult years. I feel like someone also is going to have some sort of cosmetic surgery without telling other people. For some of you, this air sign may be about someone who you feel is your soulmate. It could be a past person. Definitely could be some sort of reconciliation. But if it's not a past person, then either way, I still feel like you're going to feel like this person is your soulmate. Um... Okay, I feel like someone is also trying to see if they can trust you with the secret. So they're going to test the waters. They're going to share a little bit of information, kind of read your reaction, see what you're going to say. Um, they're going to feed you more and more of this secret. And then when they feel comfortable enough, um, it seems like you guys have some sort of bond. Um and they find you trustworthy, they're going to share more with you or the whole story, or this is what you are doing. <clears throat> Someone also may be trying to, the negative side of this is that, like I said, somebody might be trying to use you for something. Maybe they're just using you for secrets or they're hoping that you give up some sort of information for, to them. And they're like, oh, okay, they told me. So someone definitely could be befriending you or getting close to you just to know more secrets from you. Like the saying, keep your um, enemies close. I mean, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So it could be a situation like that. Mm. You may need to set boundaries with someone, especially if it is a past person who thinks they can come back. They might read, oh my God, they might read things the wrong way. It's a shame. Okay, Capricorn fell out twice. I feel like someone also has been trying to seduce you. Uh, okay, I feel like someone's been communicating with you indirectly or finding excuses to talk to you or have reasons to reach out to you. Mm. I feel like someone really likes you, but they're... I feel like they're kind of playing mind games or something. Or they're trying to reel you in. I'm not sure why they're not coming to you or pursuing you just straightforward, but they're trying to reel you in. Um, someone also may be trying to coerce you into some sort of agreement any type of agreement. Somebody's been trying to get your attention over and over again. Maybe popping up in your dreams. Um, right, 
somebody somebody has been using spell work to bring either bring you back or like or come to me spell or what do you call it it's some sort of attraction spell somebody's doing i feel like they want you to pursue them Something about a fire sign may be phony or maybe they're wearing a mask or they're covering up their true intentions. And it doesn't have to be anything sinister. It's just that, you know, they're covering up their true intentions. Like they might work with you and they, they're always asking you questions, but it's really just because they like you, they want to get to know you. Instead of just coming straight out and saying that they dance around it. Someone is having a hard time coming towards you that their confidence they're having confidence issues. Hmm. It also looks like, again, someone is like torn. They're conflicted. They're trying to juggle you and another person. I feel like you also may be dealing with some form of temptation and you're struggling with this. I feel like something's getting harder and harder for you to deal with. Mm. I feel like someone is, um, tries to keep their relationships um, playful or they try not to get too close because of their security issue, their abandonment issues. Um, so this person feels like if I can just keep somebody around all the time, then I don't have to worry about being abandoned anymore. Someone has an, uh, an addiction to that. Just it's some sort of addictive behavior where they can't seem to stop um, juggling. I feel like someone's also struggling with smoking in their cigarettes. There is a fire sign lurking on an air sign or they're taking turns lurking on each other. Um, okay, I feel like somebody is either going through your phone or someone is going through your friends list. This person's trying to get in any way that they can. They're trying to they're trying to be a part of your life. They want to know all about you. Someone's definitely been getting readings on you or you them. 
but they're trying to find out if you're single or if it's safe to approach you. I feel like this person wants a heads up or they want all the information possible um, to see if you're available. I also feel that someone who is the same sex keeps getting readings on uh, someone who they know is straight and they're trying to see is there any chance at all that they would get involved with them um, you know have a same sex relationship or if they would be bisexual they're trying very hard to find out if they have a chance Okay, I feel like with the spiritual gifts, this is something that you need to practice every day. This gift is getting um, stronger and stronger. The more you use it. Um, yeah, I feel like you need to work with this gift every day. Uh, in a love situation, I feel that there's a relationship that needs to be worked on all the time. It's taken a long time to build trust between these two people if you're with this person already. If you are single, I feel that you may be unaware that someone is pursuing you. Someone is secretly pursuing you. They're getting ready to approach you. They haven't said anything yet. I feel like this person's been eyeing you for a while, for a long time. This something has been like in the making for a long time, like some years. Um, it's been processing. I would say at least a year um, or more. And I feel like this person has been preparing uh, that they have been very patient. And the things that you've been going through in your life you don't understand or you will understand that it's been to prepare you for this relationship. Somebody also may be a healer for li living like a literal doctor uh, or someone who writes prescriptions. Someone could be a chiropractor, a masseuse. Um, yeah. I feel like someone, someone's health is being restored too. Um, if someone was struggling with any type of addictions or uh, going through any type of rehabilitation, therapy, physical rehabilitation, like someone's been making a recovery. And for those of you that wanted to know if there was some sort of telepathic connection between you and another person, I feel like that's going to be confirmed or if you were wondering if someone was doing some sort of spell work on you i feel like that's going to be confirmed all right on to deck number three we have the prince of cups we have the nine of pentacles we have the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the King of Wands. Overall energy, we have the Sun. Princess of Wands. And Seven of Wands. Okay, so... 
I'm seeing that you guys are going to be successful in whatever it is that you're pushing for, whatever it is that you're fighting for. If you had to stand up to someone or set some sort of boundaries, I feel like your boundaries are being respected. Uh, people are listening to what you have to say. Um, if you've been trying to climb up the ladder at work, I feel like you're getting the recognition. Um, if you've been working on your business, I feel like you're going to receive um, recognition. You also may just find yourself getting a lot of attention uh, this week and feeling really optimistic and happy about your circumstances or about some sort of future events that's happening. I feel like you're also going to get like a lot of compliments. There's a lot of people around you. I feel like you're definitely being admired or valued and appreciated. Um, yeah, I feel like you're definitely feeling the love. Um, you also may be focused on yourself and um, showing yourself that you appreciate yourself. You're like, I'm treating myself. I'm going shopping. Uh, I'm, I did a good job. I'm giving myself a pat on the back. Mm, I'm going to treat myself to this or that. It just seems like you're really pampering yourself or focused on yourself, but in a healthy and a positive way. Mm. You've got, like I said, there's quite a few people around you. Um, definitely seems like you're being watched by several people. Um, it could just be because you're popular. Um, maybe you're an actor or an actress and you know, you got a part. All these people are looking at you. Maybe you're performing or singing. Um, maybe you come to work looking nice or people are just like drawn to you. Somebody might even tell you that you're glowing. Um, or they're going to be like, what did you do to your skin? Your skin looks really good. Um, you might be feeling really youthful, uh, especially if you're older, like something could be going on where, you know, people are like, oh my gosh, you look so youthful. I didn't know you were that old. Um, I just feel like you're getting a lot of positive feedback or positive attention. You also might find yourself defending other people or standing up for other people or people could be doing that for you you're also going to see who's loyal and who's not the loyal people will still be standing by your side all the other phony people are going to fall by the wayside that's okay that's what you want to happen um in a love situation, it just seems like I said, you can, there's a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people uh, are interested in getting to know you, several people. Uh, there's going to be several people approaching you, trying to get to know you. I feel too like there's going to be some sort of a breakthrough. Something's going on where it seems like you feel like you can be yourself. Um... Maybe you are also releasing some sort of secret and you're like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's out there. Especially to, I guess, if somebody was, um, so if somebody is coming out, someone feels like it's a huge sigh of relief. Excuse me, not to have to hide anymore or to just be themselves. Mm. I just feel like there's going to be a breakthrough. Some of you may become independent in some way. Maybe you're going to move out, uh, get your own place. Uh, if you've been living with people or living with your parents, uh, seems like you're going to be independent. Um, or someone else is becoming independent through you, like 
this is going to be your first roommate. They're, they're like, I never lived on my own before, although it's, you know, roommates. Um, but it does look like you could have a roommate coming. Mm. You could also be starting your own business or maybe you're going, going to get to work from home. Something about your line of work seems to give you freedom and independence where you manage your own self. You don't have to worry about a set schedule. Um, you just have your freedom and you're loving it. It's fun. It's exciting. Um, I feel like something is boosting your ego. Mm. For some of you, there could be an, an engagement. But it seems like playful engagements, like people are like, I want to marry you or, you know, are you going to marry me? Like they mean it, but right now it's kind of like playful. Mm. And then, like I said, it's, it's like multiple people coming at you. So they could be any sign. I got earth, um, fire and water out the most. Yeah, this week is about confidence. I especially feel too like uh, masculine energies are showing off their body. They're very proud of their body. I feel like somebody is also receiving an award or a certificate for something or like a trophy. I mean, hell, it can be like a bowling trophy, but I feel like someone is receiving like a trophy. Someone is also coming off as being healed and healthy. I heard gym rat, so I don't know if someone feels like a gym rat or someone's getting like a lot of attention at the gym. Mm. I feel like someone is literally on an exercise bike, um, like going at it and just like really working out hard. Now, somebody also may have transformed their body because of some sort of pain that they had to go through and they use that pain to transform their body. Mm. I also feel like someone who was once struggling financially is like rising to the top. So it could be some sort of rags to riches story in the making. Someone is talking about how they lost everything. I feel like someone knows code or writes code. I feel like somebody might create an app. Someone's inventing something. I'm also getting something about a winery. I don't know if someone is going to a wine tasting or if someone is inheriting a winery. Definitely getting some guy 
feeling like he looks good. He knows he looks good. He wants you to see. He wants you to see his body. Um, if this from a guy, from a guy's perspective, I feel like this is you seeing some female or females that you're attracted to and you're showing off because you've gone, you've come a long way. So I feel like you're showing off. Um, I'm also getting the image of, it's not showing, but I'm, I'm getting this about somebody you knew when you were like kids or something, um, or like somebody used to be scrawny or underdeveloped and you run into this person and it's like, damn, like you look good. Like, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you at 10, but you know, hell, 30, you're looking delicious, you know? So something like that is going on where I feel like you're running into someone from childhood and this person looks like really good. Someone's definitely seems like they had they feel confident enough to uh, approach you and ask you out. You might be resistant or hard to get for whatever reason. I think because it's long distance and you don't want to be in a long distance relationship. But then they're talking about you can make it. They can make it work or trying to arrange some sort of visiting or vacation um, arrangements. Okay, I feel like someone's also purchasing a home and they're proud that they're a homeowner now. Um, if you already have a home, you may be making some sort of improvements to your home. Mm. I also feel that somebody is going under contract career wise, like this is something that you always wanted, especially if it is having to do with like, um, stage or, you know, film. Ooh, I, I feel like you're also finally out of a contract too. So maybe you were, you're glad that a contract is ending with a particular job or you were, you felt like you were trapped in some sort of soul contract and you're being released from it. It's like, okay, you guys fulfilled your destiny together or whatever it was that you were supposed to do. You're free to move about. And so... I feel like some of you are very happy that that is over and you get to focus on a new person or something new. I also feel like you're going to receive something in the mail, like a gift, some kind of gift, even if it's a check. In a love situation, I also feel like you're going to meet your match. Someone who's just as passionate about the relationship as you.
this person is extremely passionate. I'm getting some sort of mutual obsession that you're having with somebody. Like you guys are both mutually obsessed with each other. Um, someone's also been staying away from you either because, excuse me, they were healing from a previous relationship, but now they feel healthy enough to be with you. Or someone was staying away from you because they were practicing abstinence and they knew that they couldn't do, be that way around you. So more than likely this person's ready to, you know, go there. I feel like somebody is saving themselves for somebody. Either you are saving yourself for someone or they've been saving themselves for you. Yeah, I feel like someone is speaking their truth. You also may be the one feeling very confident and feeling bold and direct. And someone seems like they're giving directions or orders. So you may be put in some sort of supervising position or maybe you're just supervising yourself, you're an entrepreneur, so you are your own boss. But I'm getting something about direct. I think somebody also may be thinking about directing a film or is going to get their big break. Um, even if this is, you know, independent, someone is making like an indie film. You, you may find yourself feeling very creative. Your solar plexus definitely seems like it's activated this week. Yeah, your drive for success is activated. You're going to find yourself driven. You're going to find yourself inspired. Um, I feel like you're also breaking down boundaries. Because in like a creative way or you're pushing the envelope. Yeah. Either way, I feel like you're being successful at whatever it is that you do or success is coming to you. All right. So hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.